I'm a product of my granddad's son Hard work and hands and a job well done Hello, welcome back to the shed. Um, right, CBR Fireblade, 2005. Spark plug change. Um, I had a look online to see what's available on YouTube in terms of the videos that are on there. It's not a lot, so I'm going to record this one. Um, I'm going to record it because it's more of a challenge than a spark plug change. Uh, it it looks it, it's not so much difficult in a technical way, but it's it's definitely difficult in a in a fiddly ball lake of a way. Bit of a challenge, spark plug challenge, and uh, I'll film it put it on YouTube and then anyone who's got one of these bikes uh, I think they designed everything around the spark plugs um, but we'll give it a go so thanks for tuning in I'm gonna need plenty of these this one's empty so uh, let's give it a go cheers I'm a product of my granddad's son hard work and hands and a job well done Skin as thick as railroad ties And you could see kindness in his eyes I didn't want to do what he did But I always wanted to be just like him Strong enough to stay and fight Man enough to do what's right His blood is in my own The good and the bad and in between I know I'm not alone Cause looking in the mirror it's plain to see my family Mama has a heart of gold Right, something that's been missing from my videos a bit too much lately Some people commented and said they liked the way that I have a different beer every time So we are trying the Pearl and Backer Lager This is from Lidl um, not too hoppy, really nice, really refreshing, well worth a try. Cheap as well. Uh, it's no good telling you how much it is for a pack of six because I can't remember. But um, that's an awesome lager, Pearl and Backer beer. Um, we're going to be doing the spark plugs on the Fireblade, Laser Iridium Premium Spark Plugs, NGKs. Um, there's the code. Not too expensive, but they're the ones that are recommended for the blade, so. Those are the ones that are going in. So, pour yourself a beer and sit back and chill out while I do all the hard work. I don't mind to slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor I don't mind selling out or playing cover song Just as long as friends and family sing along And I don't need more money or faster car, no Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, no 
gonna take this little house and make a home And then I'll never have to face my nights alone Cause in my heart I hear speak And on my face I feel you breathe Next to me To by land, by air, by sea that is how it's supposed to be Now And that much I can see Now I'm pulling loaves of bread down from the shell how rare it is that I stay up past twelve In the backyard we are going to start a garden If that don't sound mighty good I beg your pardon Cause in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe Next to me Two by land, by air, by sea that is how it's supposed to be Now And that much I can see Now If they don't love us We don't need them Let's find our own brand of freedom If they don't love us We don't need them Let's find our own brand of free Well, I don't mind the slow down anymore I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor Anymore, anymore So at this point, the radiator is now um, released. You do have to remove a bolt here by the radiator filler cap. You've then got another bolt there by your overflow. Um, I've had to tie this because obviously removing this bolt from here, this is just going to fall away. Um, I need a top up there as well. Um, so there's those two bolts there. There's one underneath. Uh, which is there, which is like the bracket. Now, when you're moving the radiator, when you've removed all the bolts, and you, you're basically pulling the radiator down, down and sort of towards you a little bit, um, be careful, obviously, with the radiator fins on that bracket at the bottom, you don't want to scrape that. The other thing you're going to need to do is remove the uh, radiator um, fan as well from there. And then this hose, obviously you can leave everything still attached, it just comes down over this part of the frame, just to give you a little bit of room to get now in underneath there to take off the remaining bolts and screws for the lower air box. Um, yeah, so they obviously didn't want you to replace the spark plugs on this bike without taking it to a garage, I think the whole thing has been designed uh, around this bloody thing, but um, no, we're cracking on. Right, let's go around the other side. Okay, so if we look up, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but can you see that? It's like an Allen key uh, bolt in there. So there's one either side, and that's the front part of the airbox. And that needs to slide forward, which is why we needed to drop the radiator. Um, that needs to slide to the left so that we can... Um, get to the spark plugs and then on the side so side of the engine now looking through the frame you'll be able to see a screw there so there's one of them on each side as well for that air box which needs to slide forward uh, to be able to get in there so let's give that a go work it forward slightly as far as you can go, which reveals the spark plugs behind there. 
but uh, it's a little bit fiddly to get to get it forward so as much as you can so it's pretty far forward now um, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute I think we'll leave it there for a sec you can see I've slid it forward that way Right, so the first spark plug is in a bit of a shitter of a position. You're really restricted with your height um, inside here. There's really not a lot of room. Accessing it from the front, well, well you can see how much room is in there. So you will need to, let me show you this side. There it is. So it is a little bit, a little bit tricky. Um, to get to. So you will need to dick about a little bit just with a couple of different extenders and, and knuckles and things. Um, just for that first one. But the others should be fine. Down to the sleep below. Cause there ain't no rest in the fight or the silence. Oh, the crushing blow. I don't know what you think about that. Feel free to comment. That's the first one out. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world 
world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We're meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free Okay, so we're back together, um, we're pretty much back together. Um, I've just got to put the, uh, just got to put the uh, plastic tank cover back on and then um, we're good to go. Fired it up, sounds fine. Um, sounds good actually. The old plugs looked a little bit fuely, um, but then there's a power commander on this and I'm not sure whether it's whether it's set quite right, but that's something else I can look at on another video. But what I would recommend is getting getting some of these little plastic clips, just because inevitably um, it's not that you'll lose clips. It's just that obviously when you're putting this all back together underneath, um, some of the clips are a little bit brittle, and. I just I'm just being a little bit fussy so I just like to put some new clips in there and the other thing I did was to fit um, a little bit more of the heat heat proof heat shield sticky back stuff um, and I did that just because of the titanium exhaust um, and I've actually wrapped the exhaust on the bottom as well just to protect my plastics a little bit but um, it does get quite hot down there but other than that back together difficulty wise I can see why People take it to dealerships to have a spark plug change done. There wasn't a lot of videos on YouTube about this. Um, I can sort of see why, to be honest. Um, I just think some people think it's not worth the effort, but for me, um, you know, it's not so much difficult as it's just fiddly and things that you wouldn't really expect to do to change spark plugs, but there we go. Done now, happy days. So cheers for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I'm a product of my granddad's son Hard working hands and a job well done